Hi everyone, um, I wanted to give you all an update. I um, hope everyone's doing really well and I um, appreciate y'all following along on this little journey of mine and all these sweet animals. Um, if you haven't subscribed or followed, um, liked or whatever, it's greatly appreciated. Um, I've been working on this enclosure for, gosh, I think I started in maybe April and it's September now. Um, I've done almost all of it by myself. Uh, it's not 100% done, but it's awful darn close, y'all. Um, I need to get some more mulch or something to put on top of the dirt in some of the areas. Um, I was able to get a free load of mulch through chip drop, but I had to wait like, it seems like a year. It was a really long time um, because of where I live. I'm sure they just don't come out that this way very far to do tree trimmings. And it just took that long, so. I've been praying that they'll bring me another load. Um, we'll see how that works out. So, um, I have gotten this end re-leveled. So everything's as level as it's gonna get. Um, I did hire my neighbor, Bill, to do the fencing on these two sides. Um, I helped with the fencing part and then uh, he did the welding and stuff. He built this gate. The things that are left to do are to cover this dirt, that dirt, and that dirt up there with something. And I need to paint all of this metal at some point in time, but it's not a priority at the moment. And I've got a little bit of drainage work I gotta do down here. I gotta make sure that the water, as it comes down the hill, comes out here somewhere, and that these areas drain properly. Right now, when it's rained, this area hasn't really filled up, but over here does. It kind of goes this direction. So I did make a hole right here for the water to drain out, but that's just not good enough, um, especially since there's nothing covering the dirt. I think maybe this would work if I dig it out just a little bit more over here to the ditch. And um, if I had some mulch on top of the, of the ground, that would help significantly with the mud. And then I need to do something on the other side of this right here. So that's what's left. Um, the area down here on the other end, and I spread all this mulch, y'all. It was a whole load. It was a big load. Um, my neighbor Bill did use his skid steer to put some in some, some strategic areas for me, which was a huge help. But I did still have to kind of shuffle stuff around from place to place. I moved my water trough over here. It used to sit right here. I'm hoping it'll get a little less sun so it won't get so, um, so much growth inside of it and the water won't be running off the roof so much into this because of the way the roof is so i'm hoping that'll help when it rains we'll see i may end up putting some kind of cover to shade the sun um because i just i can't even keep up with it. it it grows stuff so fast um and plus you don't see it from the house as much so that's a good thing anyway i did get um this whole area down here covered with mulch and I did a pretty good layer. I put some here and around that corner because it does get muddy right on that corner. And it gets muddy right here outside my gate. And I put some of the mulch along this fence line because I have a problem with erosion on my property. So this should help some with the erosion right there. And then on this side of my house, the dirt had come away from the foundation quite a bit and gone down the hill in the last three years. And I didn't have dirt to put there. So I put a bunch of mulch there. Um, not exactly ideal, but it'll work. The concrete's not showing at the very bottom anymore, so that's good. I think the geese are visiting Tilly. I let the geese out in the pasture during the day as long as I'm home. Um, they really enjoy it and they ask for it now, so they're getting a little, a little spoiled. That's all right, I like to spoil them. Anyway, um, inside this enclosure, I did get the little building a while back I made it smaller because it was just too big. Um, and I used a HVAC pad that I had gotten for free for the bottom of it. And then I got a piece of AstroTurf that I had used for emu chicks last year that's too frayed to use for them again. Um, and I just put some adhesive spray on there and stuck it on there. And then I screwed the enclosure to the top of that pad and I put some holes in the middle of the pad just in case it, it pooled water. So it's nothing beautiful, but it was made out of, um, it was made out of baseboards and window trim from the house 
that I pulled out bef during all the remodeling. I pulled all the everything out of that house basically. So it was all repurposed wood. Um, I even used some of these <laughs> these little things from the doors and windows. I've got a bunch of those. And then I just put them on there. Nothing fancy, y'all. Uh, put a little metal roof on it. That's not fancy either. It wasn't wasn't made to be fancy. It was made to, to serve a purpose. So anyway, everyone seems to be enjoying it down on this end. The emu chicks like this end. And uh, yeah, so it's going pretty good. And um, yeah, and then I'll do another video to update you on the fence that's being built um, here in the next few days as well. So I appreciate y'all. Um, thanks for hanging in there with me during this project. It was exhausting. I wanted to give up a million times. I got cuts and scrapes that would not heal from all the bacteria and the dirt that are still trying to heal. Um, so it's kind of been a mess for me, but um, I'm gonna have scars for a few years. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, get rid of scars very easy because I'm so fair skinned. So it'll take a while, but um, this should last for quite some time. So those covers may not last forever, but um, the enclosure part of it should last for quite some time. So hopefully I won't have to do this anytime soon. And those railroad ties should last pretty much forever. So um, we'll see. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.